What about Venmo? Cash still sits at a bank when you're using Venmo. So this is what a, about Bitcoin? Uh, Bitcoin is different software. It's cryptocurrency. Uh, and it doesn't uh, measure and identify the demand for capital. And it's not also uh, possible to enforce judicial risk using cryptocurrency. Bitcoin. Huh? Bitcoin. Bitcoin is different software. So uh, the idea here is that uh, if you want to make a system you know, measurable and 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 gold you standard. Want to pay, what about the gold standard? Good. Yeah, equating all money with gold is not realistic because the value of money is determined by the goods and services it can purchase, and gold is just is, is merely one fraction of all the goods and services within an economy. So. It, it's, it, it, it doesn't help to base a currency on one fraction of the goods and services, especially when most of our value comes from, you know, we're a service-based economy, you know, here. here like, did, here you, did you read the book, uh, Choice in Currency? No. The, he believes in uh, competition in currencies. Yeah. Now, I, I, as a scientist, my duty is to just uh, make sure that currency is doing its job, which is helping us measure choice. So, money is, is supposed to help us measure and, and when he said, if, if I if I learn that someone is there saying that I want to have multiple currencies, then all you're doing for me as the scientist is obscuring the measurability of activity. How do you measure? You, you think you can measure value? But value is subjective, right? Of course, it's subjective. But but money money indicates when two two subjective point of views agree. So if you come into my store and say, hey, how much is uh, that Coke? And I tell you 250, that's subjective, right? That's a subjective measurement. Then you say, how thirsty am I? What did I have to do to earn the 250? And da, 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 da. and then you finally decide you want to purchase it, right? So how much do you say it, it's worth? I decide, uh, do I feel like the Coke or do I feel like giving up but if, let's, yeah, 250? 250, right? So at that moment, People of their own independent minds decide, okay, 250, that means you have a transaction. Yeah. And that's all money represents. It's just a mathematically, it just means that that the value of measured, promised, and delivered equals the value measured, accepted, and received. That's money. It's insisting that money should just be a form of accounting. So it's not an alternative, it's a solution, it's the fix to what's wrong with money. Right now money is serving two purposes. It's serving it's, it looks like it's serving an accounting function, but it's also serving as a means for uh, financial or lending companies to hide their financial risk within the money supply. And so this is saying, this is saying, look, there's money, which is an accounting, means for accounting, and then there are loans, and loans are financial instruments. These two things must remain separate. Have you read uh, Mises? No. Austria, you know, theory, theory of money and credit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a, I'm more of a technical person. So, okay. you know, I, I don't. It's really easy to read. There's no equations in it. He doesn't believe in equations. I, I don't believe in people who don't believe in equations. <laughs>